Welcome to Undawn. This is one of the newest action zombie apocalypse style survival games out. In fact, it just became playable yesterday. And I'm choosing to play this one on Bluestacks because I like how it works on the PC. With that being said, if you want to get involved and play this on Bluestacks as well, the link to do that is in the description of this video. And I want to thank Bluestacks for sponsoring today's video. So I really do believe that Undawn has the potential to be one of the best survival games on mobile. It adds so many things from so many different types of games that we like into one game that it really is just massive for us as a gaming community. The amount of things we can do inside of this game are endless and the PVE and the PVP inside of the game is there for us. It's all in place for us to really make this game what we want it to be. I love survival games as long as I have the time to dive into them and spend hours a day surviving, building, crafting, farming, and, and then the battles, of course, I'm all in. Undawn is absolutely incredible. Let me start out in the beginning with character customization. This is an in-depth portion of the game, more in-depth than I've ever seen in any game before. You can not only customize your character, but you can customize every single centimeter, every single inch, every single portion of their body. For example, not only can you change the eyes and mouth and ears and nose and skin tone and hair, and of course all their gear they wear, but you can be so specific. You can, for the eyes, for example, you could change the shape of the eyes, the color of the eyes, the contact of the eyes, how wide or how open or how closed, or if it sits backward in the face, forward in the face. The customization here is insanely detailed. Not only that, it goes for every single part of the body. You can make this character look any way you want. And you may say to yourself, well, why does that matter, Echo? When you're playing the game, you don't see yourself, but in fact, you do. Throughout the game, all of the cutscenes, you're gonna see your character. Throughout the game, in all of the battle modes, you're gonna see your character. So make sure you make them cute. All right, so you spawn into a world. It's a zombie apocalypse style world. You're about to get beaten up by a bunch of dudes and then the zombies come and actually save you. Yes, they save you by attacking them. You escape and find yourself opening up your eyes and waking up and being part of a sanctuary, a place where people are trying to work together to survive against the zombies. In this space, which is kind of the tutorial of the game, you're gonna be learning how to take care of yourself, how to battle, how to be competitive. In doing this, you even learn how to literally care for yourself. And this is about the details that I've been discussing here. This is what I'm trying to get across here. You need to worry about your hygiene. If you need to use the bathroom, if you need to eat, if you need to sleep, if you need to exercise, all of this is stuff that you need to focus on here inside of Undawn so that you can keep your character happy. A happy character is one that survives an apocalypse of zombies. Haven't you heard? So for example, I realized that I needed to exercise. So I dropped down and I started doing some exercising and jumping jacks and stuff like that. Or I needed to take a bath. So I decided that I'm gonna go take a bath because well, my character needed that. Or eat, or use the bathroom. These are human needs. And this game makes sure that you satisfy those needs. And of course, when your clothes are dirty, you better wash them because you don't want to stank. Now you're going to make your way around the sanctuary. You're going to meet people. It's going to teach you how to utilize everything that you have, including your HUD. Your HUD is going to show you exactly how and what you need inside of the game from hygiene to weapons, to your mental health, your physical health. This shows you everything. It allows you to really take control of your character inside of the game, and it makes it a really immersive part of the game. Uh, again, this HUD is more in depth than any that I've ever seen before in any other games. And that's even comparing to PC console and all those kinds of games as well. This one really does it right. And there's a lot of attention to detail in here. But this is about the battles. This is about the weapons. This is about the open world. If you notice throughout this video, the footage of people in the world, there are people inside this world with me. This is an open world. This is an MMO survival style action zombie game. That's crazy. People around everywhere that you can interact with, team up with, work together with, or that you can even fight at later stages of the game. Now let's be transparent here. I played this game quite a bit in beta. I actually was sponsored by them months back to share with you guys the game 
if you want to look it up, well, you definitely can because it's on the channel. But back then, I got really in-depth with the game. What you're seeing here today is the initial stages. When you get into the game, what you're going to experience. But if you want to see more, if you want me to play more of this on the channel, you have to let me know in the comment section below. So drop down below, leave a comment and say, Echo, we want to see you play more on Dawn. And maybe I'll continue to bring you this footage and this gameplay here on the channel. While you're down there, remember to go to the description of the video and click on that link to download this game on BlueStacks today so you don't miss out on playing on PC. But the battles here are really fun. The weapons are cool. They're easy to use, easy to reload because you carry all this gear with you, much of which you need to craft yourself. So you're gonna have the abilities unlocked as time goes on to be able to get different weapons, different food, different gear, better stuff as you progress and level throughout the game. Really nice mechanics, good grind mechanics, and things that are gonna allow you to understand the game more and more as time goes on. With that being said, the battles will come. You will fight zombies, and in fighting those zombies, it feels really good. The weapons, they don't feel cheesy. The sounds of the weapons even sound like real weapons. The shotgun is incredible, I absolutely love it, and it's just a weapon that you're gonna to wanna to always have on your back, and you know, if. If the shotgun's not your thing, you could always pull out your machete and start chopping them up as well. That works too. Combat's good. The whole survival element of the game is good as well. And as you progress further inside of the game, you're gonna get different vehicles that you could drive around in, and you're even going to need to create your own homestead. Your homestead is essentially your house, where you sleep, your farm, your everything. Anything that you want to survive, you need to build yourself. You need to protect it yourself. You need to kind of put your walls around it so you're not attacked by zombies or attacked by other people that may be trying to invade and take your stuff. Who do you worry about more, zombies or people that are just trying to loot you? As I mentioned earlier in the video, Undawn offers us some really great potential for a brand new game that's on mobile, that's on BlueStacks, that really can allow you to dive deep into a game. This is not your surface style mobile game. This is something that's gonna take education. You're going to need to learn how to survive inside of this world. You're going to have to practice these techniques. You're going to have to survive against the zombies and against other people. And there's a bunch of mini game modes that you can do throughout the day that are going to offer you more rewards to help progress your account as well as you're playing. Undawn really has it all if you're into survival games or if you're into zombie games or if you're into open world MMO style games. So if you want to play alongside of me, make sure you download it on BlueStacks today. Again, it's linked down below and I will see you guys inside of Undawn, surviving the undead.